Hello and welcome back to a new video. Now in today's video, we're taking a little break from the pet system videos and we're going to be working on a game pass. Now we will be working on a two times currency game pass. So let's say you have a currency named cash in your game. If you own the game pass, you get times two cash. Now with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is go into server script service, insert a script open it up and just create a very basic leader stats okay so for this we're going to do local players equals game get service players then we're going to do a function function add leader stats add leader stats and then we're going to do players dot player added connect add leader stats Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do local leader stats, add player here to player. So local leader stats equals instance.new folder, then leader stats.name equals leader stats. Make sure it's exactly spelt like that. Then leader stats.parent equals player. Now to add a currency, we're going to do local cash equals instance.new. Then we're just going to do int value. Then we do cash.name equals cash. Cash.value equals zero. Then cash.parent equals leader stats. In fact, we're going to add a little emoji next to this too. Awesome. Now, let's just go ahead and give this a quick test. And as you can see, at the top right of our screen, we have the anonymous dev1, cash equals zero. Okay, awesome. Now, just go ahead and stop playing the game. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to X out of this script and insert another script. We're gonna name this add cash, okay? So add cash, then we're gonna name this leader stats. So insert your add cash script and we're gonna do local players equals game get service players. And we're gonna do local game pass service equals game get service game pass service. Then we're gonna do function add cash player player uh, currency amount. So this will be the currency which will be cash, and this will be the amount. So the amount you want to give the player. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna insert a random part. Okay. Let's go ahead and insert this. Then inside of this part, we'll name the part add, then insert a click detector, anchor the part two. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna do local workspace equals game get service workspace. Then we're gonna do workspace dot add dot click detector dot mouse click connect function player now we're going to add some variables okay so these are services services then variables so our variables were local amount equals one this will be the amount we give a player amount we give the player local currency equals cash the the currency we're adding the amount to okay now we just want to do add cash player amount currency now we're going to get the player leader stats okay so we're going to do local leader stats 
equals player dot leader stats. Then local leader or let's just do stats equals leader stats and leader stats find first child currency. If not stat, then warn leader stat. Then no, then return end. Then we're gonna do stat equals stat plus amount. Okay, we did this wrong. So make the currency and then amount. Ah, we we have the wrong name. Go back into the leader stats and just remove the emoji. Otherwise, we'll have to add it each time, which is annoying. Wait, we also need to add value here because it's a uh, int value. So start the value equals start the value plus amount. Let's give this one more test. Now, as you can see, it adds one to the currency each time. Now, this is where the game pass comes into play. So we have all of this set up right now. So now publish your game and just create a random game. For now, we're going to do game pass tutorial and create. Now what you want to do is head to your game on Roblox, go to store, then add pass, okay? Now we're going to choose a icon for this game pass. I'm just going to go ahead and do this random coin image. We're going to name this times to cash. And the description can be doubles the amount of cash you get. Go ahead and publish this to Roblox. Now head to your game pass and go to configure, go to sales, item for sale on. Now the price of this will just be, let's just do one robot, okay? Go ahead and save that, then go back to details. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and delete this from my inventory, okay? So delete from inventory. Go ahead and copy your game pass ID, which will be up here, then head back into Roblox, okay? Now go to your add cash script and we're going to do local game pass id equals the game pass id your game pass id okay now what we're going to do is add a function okay we're going to do function owns owns game pass if marketplace we'll just add player here Oh no, make this marketplace service. If marketplace service, user owns game pass async, player.user ID, and then game pass ID, then return true end. If not, return false. Now we're gonna do local owns pass equals owns game pass player now what we're going to do is we're going to do if owns pass then amount uh, amount equals amount times two and that's all we're going to do so right now we don't own the game pass so if we go ahead and give this a test it will add one each time okay now if we x out the game Go ahead and purchase our very expensive game pass. Then give this another test. It should give us two cash each time. There you go. Now it adds two each time. And that will do for today's video. Now make sure you leave a like, subscribe. And if you guys want any more tutorials, like game pass tutorials or any kind of tutorials, Comment them in the description below and with all that being said, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.